Hey guys, Brad from JVH Media here. I thought I'd do a blender quick tip on specular mapping and how uh, it can help blend CG with live action. Um, so I have the shot here. It's a uh, C-130 flying overhead and uh, I'll just go through a quick breakdown. So here's uh, just the basic 3D model. I got this from HJ Media Studios on blendswap.com. It's a pretty detailed model, but uh, obviously this doesn't have any textures yet. If we render this out, we just get a white airplane, which uh, doesn't really look so realistic. Um, we are getting there, but obviously texturing will help this a lot. So the next step I did is I added a just a basic diffuse texture on there. I got a image from cgtextures.com. I think this this particular image was called concrete dirty or something like that so it was a concrete texture I should have probably should have gotten a metal texture but I was just experimenting this is the one that worked so I uh, added that on and we get this as you can see it uh, it looks quite a bit better but it, you can tell it still still kind of needs something so I got got crazy bump or I downloaded the free tile I should say and I made some specular maps with it and what a specular map is going to do is it, it's going to tell you or it's going to tell the CG where it should be glossy or where it should re reflect a little bit more. So I added a quick spec map and uh, we get this. Clearly uh, adds a lot of detail. Uh, uh, this is the fully composited shot. I added a glare node which is uh, pretty subtle for this image um, because there are not a lot of hot spots but it did add a little, little realism and then uh, after I combined it with the background, I just increased the contrast a bit and added a quick color grade to uh, just add to that cinematic look. That left me with this final image. So uh, yeah, I mean you can tell a uh, little specular mapping can do a lot. I kind of ignored it for a while, which uh, was clearly a mistake. Anyway, hope this helps. Like this video if you liked it. Share it around. Um, I have a Facebook page in the, in the description there if you uh, want to follow it. And as always, uh, feel free to ask a question or comment below.